what a start it has been for the SIU football team. At 4-0, the sixth-ranked Salukis are off to their best start since 2007. The Dogs in Ohio this weekend for a meeting against Youngstown State. YSU gave SIU issues in the past. The Penguins took seven of the last ten matchups, including the last two. Youngstown State trying to send Southern back to Carbondale with its first loss of the season. First quarter, the Penguins' first possession ends with points. Tashawn King takes the carry, hits a hole, and turns it into a 40-yard house call. He goes right up the gut to give YSU a quick 7-0 lead. Same score in the second. Draw rushed in. He's able to cross the goal line, gets the carry from one yard out. 14-zip home team on top, and in total control of this game. But it's not over just yet. YSU back on the move with possession of the football. Quarterback Mitch Davidson looking to the corner of the end zone, and he finds Mark Davis. But Mark Davis plays for the Salukis. It's an interception, and Southern takes over with the football. This the only real highlight of the game for SIU. The story of this one, the dominating Penguin defense. They kept the high-scoring Saluki offense off the scoreboard. SIU managed just one field goal in this game. The Penguins had seven total sacks and didn't allow a touchdown. YSU stunned sixth-ranked SIU as the Penguins hammer the Salukis 31-3. After the loss, SIU head coach Nick Hill admits his unbeaten squad was bullied. Humbling game. It's a humbling, uh, humbling sport. Um, they whooped us, you know, in every fashion that you possibly could uh, could do. They just took it to us. They out physicaled us. We could go from top to bottom. They outplayed us. The Salukis look to bounce back next Saturday. SIU heads to Kentucky to visit a much improved Murray State team. The loss means the Dogs will slide in the FCS top 25 poll. That poll will be released early next week.